how to use the OzJam Vet Tracker. Pretty simple stuff is what we have for today lined up. Um, so there's some free ones on here if you want to take a peek at them. There's, oh, we got today Joe Musgrove over six and a half. Logan Gilbert over five and a half. Corbin Burns over eight and a half. I'm sorry, under eight and a half. Mets minus one and a half. Scherzer over seven and a half. I'm talking fast because I want to make sure that when you're using the Oz Jam track, bet tracker, I want to make sure you track your bets properly. So, um, and I want to get through these as quick as possible. So, Here's how you'd put a bet in, right? You could manually put one in here. You could pick, say, DraftKings, DR. You could say the over, you know, 5.5. You could put in Scherzer, Max Scherzer. The odds are, min oh, sorry, minus 144. You put in the amount of stake you want. Um, event name, I would say strikeouts. Right, MLB. Type these. Now, make sure if you do this, make sure you put them all lowercase letters. If not, it'll mess it all up. For some odd reason, it just takes those. Put in my date today. Save. It's really simple. There's a little glitch on here, so the way to get around that is put this, put everything in. Go back to your little butt pencil box. Pick this. This is a positive EV play. Pick save changes. Now, let's say that the closing value was not listed. Now, I noticed a lot of these, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If I go into my betting tool, oh, better go. Let's do this. Let's go to here. Put in, let's see, it was Matt Scherzer for the Mets. I think they're down here. Let's say I want to bet, oh, I'm sorry, let's say I want to bet the, the run line on the Mets. So I'm going to take the Mets plus 130, right? There's typically the odds jam pinnacle line but it's not there. Let's say on the money line, let's see if it pops up. So it's not there yet. It could be there later this afternoon. What I try to do is estimate these things. Let me see if I can find a different one. Let's try MLB. Let's just go to Orioles. Money line. Yeah, so some of those are not out yet. So, the, But the way it would work is I go to here, pick baseball, pick the team I want. I want to take the Mets. I want them to be... The run line, I want the one and a half run line. Now, what I would do is these green boxes are telling me which platform, I'm sorry, which betting bookie to bet on. So in my bet tracker, I'm tracking Barstool, MGM, Bet Rivers, all the way across. Now, normally there's going to be one here that says Pinnacle or Odds Gym. They're not updated. It's early in the morning still. What I would do typically is say, okay, it's a 130 plus, 120. I, I obviously want to take the 130, right? For the books I have offered. Now, let's say you only have FanDuel, Bet Rivers, and Barstool. That's perfect. It's a 130 line. Now, the question would be is, well, what's the pinnacle line? If it's not showing, I try to estimate. I'll say these are 130s, a 120, 116, 120s. Let's go with a plus 125. So I put this in here. I put my bet in. Whoops. I go back to my bet tracker. I click on here, I do my positive EV, and I want to say 125, right? Now, when I go in here, it's going to give me a positive. Now, now don't cheat because you're cheating yourself, right? You want to beat the closing line. So, you can cheat and do this. I can put, I mean, you can put in, say, 137. Watch what happens. Ooh, it's a negative now. But whatever that closing value line is, make sure you make it correct. So let's say 125. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because the bet tracker will only do this on positive EVs, right? So this is a demo account. I can't do it. But that's how you use the bet tracker for now. Now, I want to show you something else, too, really quick. Uh-oh, it's stuck. Come on, Internet. <laughs> there we go. All right. On my bet tracker... So on the 30th, it only tracked the wins and losses from yesterday. So I just started this because I'm testing a lot of things, obviously, right? It's showing me that I, I have one, two, three, four, five bets on the 30th. If I go to my sheet, this is my tracker where I can track my profit and loss, my pending bets, my ROI. Be, am I beating the closing line or not? As of right now, no, because I haven't put in... A 
still have other bets to put in there. So as of right now, profit has been $50 in one day, right? So Barstool, I lost. DraftKings, I won. FanDuel, I did really well. Bet by type, positive EV, plus 50, right? Pretty simple stuff. 20% is pretty darn good. Now, if you can do 20% every single day, that's a lot of money, right? So just wanted to show you guys a, a quick glimpse of how to use the bet tracker. This is how you can put everything in here from your bet tracker, place your bets automatically by yourself, or you can use the betting tool, Positive EV. And when you do that, it'll automatically set up your closing value for you. So I'm going to do another one with the closing value as well. Signing off from Ozjam, how to track your bet tracker.